Hello everyone, my name is Creative, and welcome to my new YouTube channel. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to automate your NFT drops using dropsies.com. Before we begin, let's go over dropsies.com, an airdropping tool. Now you can easily copy and paste your list of wallet addresses and airdrop your tokens or your NFTs instantly with no code required. So if you are a project that does this or is wanting to airdrop, I'm telling you this tool is for you. I have personally have done airdrops in the past and it takes forever. It's been 84 years. Especially if you have multiple wallets that you need to send it out to, this is a process that you have to literally copy and paste, copy and paste, sign your wallet, sign your wallet. But with this tool, you're gonna be able to automate all that with a few clicks. So let's begin. The first thing you wanna do is go into your browser and you wanna hit dropsies.com. And this will be the main landing page that you're going to be landing on. Before you start making the process and you want to figure out what the pricing is, they have an actual pricing chart. So if you are airdropping on Matic and you're dropping 300, it's going to be literally $16. Uh, that is an amazing price, um, especially when you start getting to the, the big drops. I could not imagine airdropping 10,000 uh, NFTs. That would take literally forever. So for today's practice, I have a token, which is the 2022 Polygon Showcase NFT, and I'm gonna be airdropping this to the artists that participated in this event. And here's all the wallets that I have that I already set up. So let's actually head over here and let's actually begin the process. The first thing you wanna do is you actually wanna just connect to your wallet. We're gonna go ahead and hit next. We're connected. We got the check, everything is good to go. Awesome. Now our wallet is connected and all we're gonna do is we're gonna select start airdrop. Now, what you can do is actually just provide your list of addresses or your .eth or your .crypto. Uh, these are the, the type of um, domains that these support or you can actually upload a C CSV file. I already have my list of folks that I have, so I'm just literally gonna go down at the bottom of the list, select it, hit Control Copy, go back to my list, and I'm gonna hit Control V. And now I see my list already. I do have some different domains in here. I see and I have a lot of wallets in here. I think the total of airdrops in this is 52 so we're going to airdrop 52 of these nft uh, tokens that i have and we're going to select we're going to add the addresses and then boom here's all the addresses that got imported if you ever want to just double check you can go ahead and select go through the list so yeah i have 52 addresses we're going to be airdropping this looks good I'm gonna go ahead and select next. Then you're gonna go ahead and pick your network. They have multiple networks, but for this video, I'm gonna obviously select Polygon because I am a Polygon Kool-Aid drinking advocate. So we're gonna hit next. What we're gonna do, we're gonna use, use an existing token. And here at the top, it's gonna to say, you okay, import your existing token, and it's gonna ask for the token contract address. So I have an OpenSea NFT, and the way that I'm gonna be able to find this token address is I'm gonna head over to the NFT, and under details, you're gonna see contract address. So what I'm gonna do is just gonna go ahead and select it. And here at the top, it's gonna to give you my address of the token, I'm just gonna go ahead copy this head back over here we're going to go ahead and paste this in here and then it's going to say starting token id so where is the starting token id we're going to actually head back to the actual page and here is the token id i'm just going to go ahead and select copy and i'm going to hit Control v i'm going to paste it back in here okay this looks good i've got the token contract address and i've got the token id i'm going to go ahead and select next i'm going to airdrop 52 
and it's gonna cost me $2.84. That is amazing. And um, I'm letting you know, guys, this airdropping 52 will take forever if I were to try to do this manually. So I'm not gonna do that anymore, especially if you guys are a big collection that have over 100, 200, you know, 3,000, 10,000. This is a great tool for you. I, I'm, I'm beating the drum because I'm telling you, automation is, is the way to go. So we're gonna go ahead and select send airdrop. It says, please confirm. Give it just a moment. And if this is your first time watching this video, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. All right, so right now it's talking about the gas fees, how much it's gonna cost, likely under 30 seconds. And I'm gonna hit confirm. And right now, I just wanna go back. Right now, I have 16 days ago, I, I started airdropping some of these. So when we come back to this in just a second, um, I we will see 52 of these being sent out. So let's actually head back. Right now, it's going still going through the transaction. We'll give it just a moment. Oh, it looks like we might need to select something. That is correct. All right, it says completed transaction. So this is actually my transaction. So if I ever wanna go back and see the whole transaction and the hash, here is actually the entire, that we, entire script that we can actually see and how much it costs. Here's what the total was, was $2.84. Yes, that's awesome. This is completed, everything looks to be done. And we're actually gonna go back into our NFT and we're actually just gonna go ahead and hit refresh. Another way you guys can actually refresh is actually select this top button where it says refresh meta metadata. And we're actually just gonna scroll down and there it is. Um, my airdrops have been completed. It has been sent out to all 52 people. One, two, perfect, awesome. <laughs> Incredible. Yeah, guys, this would have taken me a very, very long time. Uh, question for you guys that are watching. Um, what is the largest amount of manual airdrops that you guys have done? I have heard someone has actually airdropped manually over a thousand and it, it literally took him a month to do this process. This literally took literally two minutes to do. Yeah, it looks like all the airdrops have came in. Everything looks absolutely fantastic. And everybody just now received their NFT ticket from the 2022 showcase. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and we'll see you in the next video.